What is up, peeps? Welcome back. We're going to take on the Gargoyle bosses of Belfry Luna. Uh, we are in offline mode because I got tired of being invaded. We are getting invaded out the ass. And normally I don't care, I deal with it, but it, we're recording and it's a hindering progress. So we're going to just do this the easy way. Let's go through here. We changed up our soul arrows. Um, we, were, we got invaded by the NPC, finally. But uh, he sits at the very top where we were, and we didn't even go back there, so... I gotta be careful, because I can fall through. So there might be someone behind me here pretty soon. We're probably gonna run out of cast before this is over with. There it is. So the idea is to try to keep this manageable to at least as fast as possible. So we're not dealing with a lot of summons. Ah, too late. Oh no, oh no. I've done this, he's died on the very last one. And uh, I had to kill the last one by myself, which is not bad. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of a nuts fight. There was, what, like six of those guys eventually? So, uh, yeah, you kill him quick. That's what you do, kill him quick. So, there is that. And then you go this way. Chest here. The Southern Ritual Band, I believe, gives you more um, casting slots. We got the Bracing Knuckle Ring earlier. Uh, it slows equipment de degradation. Uh, I guess I didn't talk about this either. That de increases defense when HP is low. In Dark Souls Remastered, it was at 20% HP. You got a, a big boost to defense. In this game, I'm not sure if it's still 20% or not. Um, that is, yeah, more tomb slots. So we don't really want that. We're not worried about that. I mean, I guess we could use it, but I'd, I'd really use the casting ring personally, which I guess we're not using. So this is the very last bonfire of. Uh, I think this is. Oh, maybe this is uh, Buffer Luna still. Um, but anyways, I want to put all this crap on here again. So there's about like four, five, six dogs down there. Um, you can cheese some of them. Not all of them. I don't think we can get that one. No. So what I will do is climb down. Just gonna pull aggro, go back up. We're gonna get invaded right here in a minute. So that, this is the best way to do this because I've killed what two. Yeah, 
one more. So let's. Oops, I keep doing that. Put that back right there. So we'll kill that dog real quick. There is. Oh no, there's two more dogs. Because we're winning. Got him. Cool. I think you can also cheese him from up there. I think. Got drop. You effigy, yay. Um, but I don't remember. Anyway, let's kill this dog first. Okay, so this is an enchanted falchion. That's cool. Um, we could actually technically use that. I don't know if it's better than what we have. And as a dragon truth, tooth, a petrified something is what we really wanted. Bright bugs are also dope. The dragon tooth, I think, is a big old club, I'm pretty sure. Okay, there is... Let's go buy um, Dark Fog, because we're going to want that. Then let's upgrade our Warp Sword one more time, and then I think that... Uh, at this point... We, we might be able to respec. Let's buy Dark Fog. Not to worry about the rest of them yet. I don't know why he's, he wait, says that. I believe we can do our Warp Sword up one more. A plus two Warp Sword uh, hits really, really well. The damage isn't the best, but it's fast. So I think at plus two, once we can Dark Infuse it, I think we'll be looking really good. So let's reinforce our warp sword one more time. Oh, we can't. We need one more. That sucks. Hmm. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to farm some basilisks for two dark knight stones. Or at least one dark knight stone. Um, and I think I might build a respect. Let's go back to... Majula. Let's see if we can uh, have enough levels to get our faith to 20. Because if we do, we can race back right now. I think we can do it. I think we will be okay. So we gotta have to go back to the firekeeper, or firekeeper, the uh, maiden, whatever they're called, the old ladies. Still determined, do you? All right. No, of course. Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I am going to farm a uh, Dark Knight stone. We will, I'm going to, I'm going to pause the video. We're going to farm a Dark Knight Stone, get that all set up to go. Um, because we definitely want, because the problem is, is we're going to lose, ah, screw it, it's fine. Because, like, the problem is, is that we have a, uh, power that's plus four. Uh, and our other weapon's going to suck. Our Warp Sword's probably not going to be as good. 
That's, that's what I'm afraid of. But I want, I would really like to have a dark warp sword for the Lost Center. You know, you know what? Let's deal with it. Let's deal with it. Um, let's go to uh, straight cell. Let's go take on the Sinner's Rise and see what happens. Because I might end up not being that bad. Because if we kill uh, the Lost Sinner, which is the next boss we're going to do, um, we'll absolutely be ready to go. Like, without a doubt, it'll be, um, you know, we'll have, we'll have the points we need. God damn it, really? Kill that guy. Uh, this guy, I think, will aggro us. Don't do this. That didn't kill him? Jesus. Oh, learn skulls. Yeah, we need this. So, we have to try to kill that guy. Stop shooting. Okay, that's fine too. Here. Sometimes this guy like drops down. It's kind of strange. Come up here. Did he drop down again? He did. There's the only bonfire in the area. I want to light that guy. There is a, an item right here. Large soul. So we're going to fight a few of these royal swordsmen. I guess I'll call them royal swordsmen now instead of serpentine blade guys. Um, There's like two inside. Human effigy, that's cool. There we go. Cool. I don't need soul arrows. Cool. I mean, I'm gonna have to in a minute, but I'm gonna try not to. Knives, not the best thing, but it, you know, does work. This should be Lucatil's sign. Yep. Um, we are going to summon her, but not yet. So this area is full of water. It slows you down like crazy. And there, I believe there is a flexile sentry to the left and one to the right. I know there's one to the left for sure, which is the boss we fought in No Man's Wharf. They are now common enemies. And they, they still suck. And then there's a bunch of those explodey guys. So you see how slow I move. There he is. So you want to try to get him right here and then you just hit him with full arrows. And as you see, they don't do any damage like at all. I'm gonna see what I can do about moving that. Try not to take damage, but Ow, Jesus. And this is why you don't want to fight them right here. Good lord, I'm gonna die.
kidding me? Really? So luckily they can't get through this area. So this is why I'm happy I sold the Halberd, because I wouldn't be able to do this with the Warp Sword. what makes this area scary. I think there's one more to my right. I might be wrong. Okay. It maybe it is just the one. I don't know if those guys respawn or not. I think they do, so we're gonna have to do this all in one try. That's one of the reasons why um, I tried not to use soul arrows, because we're gonna want that for the boss fight. So now it's mostly exploding enemies is what we have to deal with. I do believe there's a hide knight over here too though. So we're going to head up this way first. So that is a summon sign for an NPC. I will deal with that when we get there. We're gonna we are gonna summon him, but just not not yet. There is something here that sucks. Is it this one? Yeah, it is a hide knight. Uh, I don't want to fight the Hype Knight at all. I don't. I remember skipping this too. Yeah, it's the spear one too. Oh, he. To the wall? him around a little bit if we can. Okay, cool. Jesus. What a pain in the ass. He drops. A height spear. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then what was he protecting over here? A fire seed. So that's what we use to level up the pyromancy flame. So you want to unlock one or both of these doors. We're going to do both. Uh, there are some more explody guys down here. I, I do believe. As soon as you open up that door, they all just go nuts. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh my god. So these ones do it multiple times, and I couldn't stab that guy. 
And I do believe that uh, that Fuxal Sanctuary respawns. Luckily, we don't have to kill the High Knight again, but that sucks. And I love how there's a guy right there. I'm going to kill him. Just so I don't have to worry about him. Um, the 20,000 souls I'm not that worried about. Because uh, we're going to get a good amount from the Lost Center. And we're almost, like, we're, like, pretty much... Where we need to be for, uh... That was close. You gonna come to me? Are you kidding me? What was that stun for? Oh my god. Jesus, would you fuck off? There we go. Okay, there's that. Now we go. Okay, so I think the Flexile Sentry respawns. We're gonna have to deal with that. I think I'm just gonna Soul Arrow all the rest of those guys. Um, I need to go to the right on that first bottom room because that guy aggroed first. Let's see if that's that helps. Yep, I wish that was a single time spawn, but it's not. What a pain in the ass. I do next to no damage to this guy. No, don't do that. Oh, that was close. I mean, 239 is not shabby, but man, this dude's tanky. Uh oh, did I screw up? No. Bro. That's what I was waiting for, was that. do now is just kind of clear this place out wow that was really shit okay I don't think there's anything in here. So 
So we're just going to try out another one. Sneaky, sneaky. Click and lock on to see if anything else pops up. I don't trust this one at all. Oh, first lock's done. Wow. Okay, there's that. Let's get the last, what, two or so? I think we're done because I just want to make sure that nothing screws us because these guys suck we'll skip that hide night we'll open this guy up just because we can and that should be it okay moving on good lord Okay, we'll pop our uh, human effigy. We'll summon Lucatil right here. And I think these guys might have problems with ladders. That's one of the reasons why you want to open that gate. Oh, that scared me. I was like, oh no, what is that? Uh, so we'll get Lucatil. We'll go over here. This guy, I like. This dude's name is uh, Cell Sword Blewett. Uh, but he has two shields. He uh, do world shields, but he's called a cell sword. So I don't know how, how that works exactly, but okay. All right, we'll head this way and down. And so this will be the boss fight for the uh, boss center, I think, the last center, something like that. Um, there is a trick to this. Yeah, they can make it cool. Is there? I feel like one of these places had an item in it. Not right there. Oh, don't trap me, please. Is it over here? Yeah. What is this? Radiant Lap Jam. Okay, cool. Speaking of, let's switch right there, because we don't want that. Okay, so the trick to this is that when you go into that... Uh, the arena, it's like pitch black, and it does not allow you to lock on unless you're really, really close. So what you do, you light a torch, and you light this one up, and then you're going to come over here. Oh, we have an hour now on our torch. And light this one up. What you're supposed to do is light at the bonfire and make it through that whole flooded area. without uh, losing your your flame, which basically means don't roll. That whole area you're not supposed to roll. But we're kind of cheating because we're using a, a flame butterfly. Let's do this stone. And I don't know if we have to relight that or not if we die. So what I'm going to do is light this sconce right here just in case. That's not an issue. Okay, now we can go fight the boss. Um, I would like to have better soul arrows, but we're going to just deal with this for now. It should be fine. And this is one of those great soul bosses. It's one of the mandatory you know, big bosses. So you get this little weird thing with it. And then you get to see that. I don't know what the hell that is. But good lord. And I don't know if this actually matters, but um, the Lost Center is uh, a woman too. 
Because I always want to call him a man. That's to me that's what it looks like, but it's absolutely not. And as you see, uh, she got rid of the light, so it would be really dark in there. Yeah, this feels like it does nothing, but we're just gonna cast. Because these guys are pretty tanky. Plus, there are three uh, NPCs that will join in with her, and it makes the fight really, really difficult. Uh, the first time I ever played this game, I uh, wanted the Chaos build, but no death build. And you can only get it if you do um, you kill her on NG Plus, because you get like, a special item to, to make. And, and I didn't know this happened, and I had never used Bonfire Sex before, and I just got screwed myself. So then you open this door right here. You have this, which is another fragrant branch of yore. That's cool. And Elizabeth Mushroom. Um, there's only one statue that I know of that we haven't gotten to yet. But there is there is one more we could do, but we're not gonna do it. There's a primal bonfire. And we are going to head back to uh, Majula. Okay, so what I'm going to do in the meantime, let, let me see if I can get my 20 faith. I'm still going to respect because i got to get rid of all that strength. We still have too much strength. You have a that is more than most of it. So let's see if we can hit our uh, 20 faith yet. Nope. Uh, that's fine, though. So let's go respec right now. I'll show you guys that. And then uh, I'm gonna farm for a Dark Knight Stone off recording so you guys aren't sitting there watching that. Uh, Cause it could take hours for all I know. I'm really not sure. So let's go back to the thing Twixt. And we're gonna farm up two of them. Cause we're gonna need one Um, for the Sunset Staff. As a matter of fact, we could probably go get the Sunset Staff right now. So... Still do you? Let's reallocate. Okay, so we want... Uh, 15... Hold on. I want to double check this real fast. 1525, okay. That's what we want. Still do you? So it is 15. This needs to be 20. So there's that and that. Then I guess I could get uh, that up. 16 is not bad. So 10 and 10 will get me by two. And at this point, um, for Int and Faith, every, every point we put in, we have to put two points in to get a level up. It's really weird. So I think I'm going to do... Hmm. 
I almost want to do this too, because we need to get that up to 15. Because our in-game stats are going to be 20. That's 20 plus. That'll be 15. Those two will stay the same. That will be as high as we want it to be. I think five slots is what we're aiming for. And then these guys will be 30 plus. ADP also, need, we need to get it up to, uh, I want to say 105 agility, somewhere in that range. 100 to 105. So we got a lot of points to do. I got six more points to level up. What do I want to do? That's the question. Do I want to do... This would help a lot, actually. But our damage would suffer a little bit, so... I think we're going to do... Um... One, two, one, two, one, two. I think we're going to do that. do we need to 9,000 okay I think that'll work once we get those to 25 each that's that's pretty solid that'll get us by pretty well um, so let's call that so we're gonna call the video now I'm going to uh, get us a dark knight stone or two um, I'll look and see where Falcon's at because I'm pretty sure he is you know what hold on real quick boys and girls let's Let's take a quick look at something here. So the Huntsman's Cops, I believe, is in this direction. Oh yeah, that's right, we don't use that anymore. So this is our Warp Sword, it does this. It's a lot faster than the halberd. That does 245. This does 130. So uh, the damage is a lot lower, but it's faster. It's much, much, much faster. This was the Fate Trainer. Oh, hello. This room is and only and lives shall I uh, It costs souls to move the path. 2,000 souls. If you kill her, you can take her key and move this yourself. Uh, I don't feel like doing that. I don't like killing PCs unless I have to, so we're not going to. Yeah, she's kind of a grifter a little bit there. Rogue water. Up and up. Yep, there he is. That is Falcon right there. The dog stirs. I see it. So you need Dark 20 in, in intellect and 20 faith for him to really talk to you. I would try to you. you. And so he sells the Chaos Rapier, the Archstrike Staff, the Archstrike Chime, the Chaos Shell, we don't want those. Uh, the Ring of Light Protection, we don't want that. Dark Crown Rising, we don't want that. We want another Dark Orb. Dark Weapon, Resonance, Souls. Uh, I don't really use these too much. So we're not going to worry about that. These are... And that's where we get the Sunset Staff, the Hexer, and the Hexer set. Together. No matter. Hell yeah. So we can now be a Hexer. So we're going to switch into the Hexer stuff. Because it will improve our Hex. Hexes. So no more soul gain, but no big deal. So this is what we're going to be using for most of the game. And then we also have... Oops. Sunset Staff, hell yeah. So we need to Dark Infuse both of these. And, and that's it. And then we need to equip our uh, Dark Orbs. And then we will uh, be a Hexer now. So that's the Huntsman's, Huntsman's Cops. The spawn Fire. Alright, uh, let's call the video now. I'm going to go get some Dark Soul, or Dark, dark Souls, Dark Souls, uh, 
Dark Stones, Dark Knight Stones. And then we can start doing hacks and stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.